On a sunny spring morning, the entire second grade from Emma E. Booker Elementary stepped off their school buses and onto the grounds of the Ringling Museum. Most of these children live and go to school less than four miles from this world-famous art gallery, but most have never been here before. Who's been here before? These seven and eight-year-olds are getting this experience thanks to a new grant provided by the Education Foundation of Sarasota County with support from the Patterson Foundation and generous community donors. The idea is to give Sarasota County students a chance to explore their communities, children who otherwise may never have the chance. Children like eight-year-old Melissa Maurice, who was thrilled to visit with her classmates, but has never been able to come here with her own family. They didn't have enough money to afford for us to come here. A man riding a horse. So with wide eyes and curious smiles, the children were led through the galleries. They listened carefully to stories about the artists and the artwork the impressive masterpieces creating quite an impression. I think that it was wonderful for them to do that for me. My teacher has been teaching me about Mabel and John and many stuff about this place and it's really, really beautiful. I love it. It was beautiful and I wanted to go in. It will let you learn about all different kinds of things that happened a long time ago. It was pretty cool because you got to see what in the old days John Ringling had and how his, how he built it and how the sculptures were. A tree? No way, I don't have one of those at my house. It's opening up their eyes. They're beginning to learn so much and look at the world outside their, their neighborhood. And that's what I want them to do, to know that it, it's much bigger and perhaps it will spark something in them. Maybe it will spark the desire to become an artist or learn more about art. Teacher Patricia Varley saw this learning adventure posted on a new website called edexplorersrq.com. So she applied for an exploration grant to fund it for her students. She says it was the only way most of these children could have this experience. At, at many other schools, they have um, PTOs or PTAs and parents raise thousands of dollars and and they can afford to come or the parents can afford to come but 95 percent of our children are free on reduced lunch I mean that's poverty and so they can't afford to come and they don't have the opportunities some of the parents don't even have cars it's so wonderful to have the donation because all of these children are having the opportunity that entire second grade they're having the opportunity to come and visit these places and see what Sarasota has to offer and it and they wouldn't be able to do it if they didn't have people being so generous with their money and donating it for us to be able to do it and I and I sincerely thank them it's a fabulous opportunity providing this opportunity that impressed these young students and inspired them this is the perfect example of how so many different entities have come together to really provide some experiences for students that are not just learning vicariously through somebody else, but by learning, by doing, or seeing themselves. And they get to form their own ideas and opinions about things. So it's a great example of how so many different pieces can come together for the good of the whole child. I like this museum really, 